Okay, since this is becoming a video of its own, I figure I'll bring you along with what I'm going to be doing. I have this Y area of the layout that is ready for some paint and figured that I would get going on that and see what we can do and we'll go from there and I'll bring you along. So. I'm using a couple different colors, just some of what I've had and am kind of just using up. One is khaki, the other is this chill tan. It isn't too, they're close, but the chill tan is just a little darker. I'm going to probably throw in a little bit of this brown oxide just to... I almost prefer it a little bit over burnt umber just because it matches some of the area that I'm in just a little bit more once it's colored right or mixed in with other colors. For once I get to the rock faces, oh, sorry for making you bounce, you'll probably have that a little bit, but I'm going to use this pewter gray. And then I also have a light desert sand. It's a little lighter than the other colors, the other earth tone colors that I've got. So we're going to get going on this. And I just, when I'm doing it, I try and tend to use my palette and I'll just mix some colors up in the middle spot here and then add some water and just dab it over it so we'll see how it goes And since this is acrylic paint, I'm not too worried about covering up the track. So I can just wipe it off if I get some spilled on it. So. mainly doing this just to give some color onto the the base at least this is just a light color for the base of the sculpt mold as I'll be coming back over with dirt and maybe some grout I haven't quite decided if I'm going to do that mixture or if I'm just going to do straight dirt but that's all this is at least for the bottom piece here the rocks I'll kind of do a little bit more to them but As I said in a previous video, 
previous clip as well, I'm going to be adding a little bit more to the ballast over here so I'm not terribly worried about getting some of the paint onto it as well where it's going to get a good cover of it or a recover anyway to get the ballast up over the sculpt -to mold So I'm going to hurry and turn this just for a second. It's going to look a little crooked, but this is the grade crossing that I had in the last clip. I'm going to be painting it with um, this Asphaltium that's you know pretty much a good color for asphalt. So I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. I'm going to focus on this up here. But just wanted to show that in case if someone was curious.
One reason that I like to do this method over some of the others that are out there is I like having some of the white come through to act as the sun has gotten to it over time. Um, I see a lot of that, you know, here and there in the area I'm at. And so where this is a loosely based or proto lance of kind of the Utah area. That's why I stick with that. Since I'm planning to do cab ride videos at some point, again, along this back edge, just going through, making sure that I have enough color that it is actually all painted and not just Having a big glaring white spot like I caught the other day. And some other spot on the layout. It's actually just to the right over there. Okay, now that I checked everywhere, everything looks good, I'm happy with it. Maybe add just a little bit of gray in here. That's, yeah, that looks a lot better now. Okay. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to... First, I'm going to take some of the gray before I go clean the palette, and I'm just going to touch up here on the any white that's up on the ballast, just to make it easier for it to be blended blend, blended in once I get the next coat of ballast onto it. here along the tracks okay we're going to I noticed as I was moving the camera over that there's some gray inside the track or gray <coughs> There's some sculpt mold inside the tracks that I didn't quite get cleaned off, but we're just going to touch it up with the gray paint. I won't hurt it at all. And we'll just come through with the paper towel. And clean off. 
railheads. Go over the ties a little bit, and that looks okay until I get to the until I get to putting ballast on the inside of the unit track. Alright, with that, I do need to paint this spot, but this is the tripod leg, so we'll finish that up after we end this clip quick, but here is the final product so far. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. But then again, I am biased to it, so it is what it is. But I'm going to let the paint dry a little bit, get that one spot done that's just off camera there with the, where the foot's at with the tripod. And once this dries up a bit, then I'll come back and we'll start with the ballast. So we'll be back in a bit once some stuff is dried.